Spoiler warning, late game bosses getting wrecked. Hello, I've been Zero Gravitas. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and what's that? If you'd like me to explain how a single Joker one shot high level bosses. Oh, go on then. So, firstly, the eagle eyed may have noticed that this is now a defunct version of Core Keeper. It turns out that the game's developers move far faster than me, and the 0.4.0 Sunken Sea update broke this trick already. But then, at a single game tick, these kill times were already safe as an unbeatable record, I suppose. <laughs> The trick was to get a drill that normally does only 12 damage per second to save that all up for a single hit of 30,000 damage or whatever's needed. The drills are primarily intended to mine boulders for metal ore. These now work at full speed everywhere in the world, a lot like Factorio. But to maintain game performance, automation used to get unloaded from memory past a couple of hundred tiles away. Then to create an illusion of continuity, the game would simply count how long it had been since a powered up drill last hit its boulder. So if you were quick you could see they'd applied all the damage in a single hit, producing a whole load of ore at the same time. It took me a long time to realise this, but drills didn't even care if they were pointed at anything. They would spool up damage even when you were stood right next to them. It was tricky to tell because players are treated separately. Due to mathematics, the drills actually only accumulated 6 damage per second. So the preparation time for some kills was a couple of hours, including a little added buffer time to make sure I didn't fall short. The hardest bosses in the game are actually the merchant NPCs. With 100,000 health and outlandish regeneration, you can wail on them indefinitely, so the spool up time for this 2 second shot was over 4 hours. They no longer drop their shop inventory now either, so other inventive ways to kill them are also redundant. Anyway, here are the kills again at full length while the video plays out. With Azios, notice that, to avoid breaking their egg summon, I had to quickly flip the drill around to catch the bird's slender hitbox, and not killing them on their spawn frame lets us see their damage pop up for once. Also notice that Malikaz entirely bypasses his second form, and short period of temporary damage immunity that normally comes in between. This really is the end of the video now, so by all means go take a look at my other short core keeper videos in this series.